dollars sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino induced drought together. EcoCash, live life the EcoCash way. The views expressed by our guests in the following video are solely the opinions of our guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and or opinions of the All A7 Podcast Show. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello guys, my name is DJ Ola Seven Owen. We're Kwa Madono, the Chief A Marshall here on the Genius Kids Show. Uh, every Monday we give you the Genius Kids, and uh, this is the show where we talk to every you know Vana from all corners of, uh, of of the country, Kumamisha, Kugeto, Uptown. Another genius, all the geniuses to turn our panel per show. You know, it turns out to come here that says, I'm not gonna go now. Never when you want to win, i good at um, academics. My own, I got good about draw drawer. My own, I got good at um, maybe to him, but you're gonna go tamba. So it's just to turn about this uh, beautiful platform. And just to remind you, uh, to take you back a bit, uh, to ne, inter, inter, show at a guy that I've been um, na praise God, cha paper from Chitungwiza, you know, by genius kids. My now you I can skip grades i'm sure you, you all of you remember uh tell me that show i got one scholarship again now out to the zone they couldn't which core or jagger vans i wish they saw panorama mono pa show you know it i got a one what i got team tori so getting up all sand was all right right now today a uh, big thanks to uh road angels i'm sure you know the that recovery company uh road angels Thank you so much. It's no good tender any support. I'm about genius kids. Mana we do act to endog no disa somewhere. Kwanga kuni shuro ya ke. Okay, so today on this uh, show I've got uh, Joylene. She's from Samuel Centenary Primary. So she's here with me. Hi, Joylene. How are you? I'm fine. And I see you're very confident. You're happy. Hey, okay. Tell us more about yourself. Just give us, you know, your name, your age. My name is Jolene Dafana. I'm seven years old. Mm -hmm. uh, we are four in my family, and I am the I'm the last born. The last born. Yeah. So how is it? How does it feel to be the last born? To be the last in your family? My mother loves me the most. <laughs> <laughs> so you're more like a spoiled child, right? I'm not spoiled. Oh, really? Yes. I uh, know. You say she loves you the most, right? Yes. So yeah, you're, you're, you're spoiled, of course. Because these other ones are like, okay, so mama, you, you, you could favor you because you love this one the most. You see? Yes. Exactly. So you said, how many are you in the family? I were four in my family. Four. Okay. So as a young genius, how are your parents supporting you? They are very happy because I'm exploring a lot of things and I'm finding my interest in things I like. Mm -hmm. What do you like the most? I like Science. Science. Yes. Wow, that's your favorite subject in school? Yes. Science, why science? I like science because it's a very fun subject. Mm -hmm. Well, science, you can do a lot of things. You can be doing experiments. Mm -hmm. You can also be text testing other things out. Mm -hmm. Like the filtration experiment. Oh, you know that one? Yes. Tell me about that. How do you do it? How do you get the experiment? Well, first you can take 
dirty water mm -hmm. from a dam mm -hmm. or even a river. Okay. And then you get two beakers. Mm -hmm. The first beaker needs to have dirty water, mm -hmm. the one from the dam. Yes. And then the other one should be empty. And mm -hmm. then you need your filter paper. Yes. You fold your filter paper, then you open one side of mm -hmm. it. You <coughs> you put the filter paper in the beaker, mm -hmm. and then you pour your water through the filter paper. Mm -hmm. But make sure the... Make sure the water does not go through the sides of the filter paper yeah. or else the dirty water would start getting into the filtered mm, water. I see. Mm -hmm. So when you're done filtering, you then boil the water mm -hmm. to remove the germs which were left. Yes. And then you add a little bit of chlorine. Mm -hmm. And then you're done with the experiment. So why the chlorine? Is it to purify the water or what? Mm. Yes, it's to clean the water. Mm. Okay, yes. okay, okay. That's Joylene here on the Genius a Kids Show. And um, she's from Samuel Centenary Primary School. And you see, she's very eloquent. Okay, but anyways, <coughs> at, at, at school, I know Guti, maybe you might have so, some friends. Do you have yes. some friends? Yes, I do. Okay, what do you guys do during your, your spare time? I can help my friend crochet, mm -hmm. and also we play together and make jokes. Uh huh. You make yes. jokes. Yes. So please, just just give us one joke. It might not be. It might not be funny. <laughs> that's that's fun now. But okay, it's okay. Let's see. It. Why did the cow cross the road? Why did the cow? The cow, or you said cow? The cow. The cow. Yes. yes. So you said, why did it cross the road? Yes. Okay, I, I don't know. Tell me. To go to the movies. <laughs> oh, so it went to the movies? Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, guys. Ah, anyways, it's okay. It's okay. So it's good. Do you do sports? Ah, uh, yes, we do. Uh, which one is your favorite sport? My favorite sport would be hockey. Hockey. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite sport because I have a lot of interest into the game. Mm -hmm. It's a very fun game where you can play with others mm -hmm. and have fun together. Mm -hmm. But I, uh, you know what? Let me tell you something, uh, Jolene. I don't understand hockey at all. You know, I mean, I'm a football fan. Um, hockey... No. It's a girl sport. Oh, really? Yes. So tell me, how do you play hockey? So, these are the things you need mm -hmm. before you play. Yeah. You need a hockey stick. Mm -hmm. You need the hockey ball. Yes. You need the gloves. Uh -huh. You also need your shin pads. Okay. And you need your gum guts. Wow. Then you're, you're done. Those are all the things you need uh -huh. to play. Right. So then, when you're playing, <coughs> we have the center, mm -hmm. and then we also have the center half. Mm -hmm. And then we have the right wing defender mm -hmm. and the left wing defender. Okay. And we also have the right wing players mm -hmm. and the left wing players. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the swiper. The there's, swiper. There's no goalkeeper in hockey. So it's just a goal post without a goalkeeper? No. The swiper mm -hmm. is in charge of the goal post. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. So if you're playing hockey, you need two teams. Mm -hmm. The hockey field is split into four parts. Mm -hmm. So in those four parts, if you make a score in the second part, mm -hmm. it won't be counted as a score. Why? If no one just touches the ball mm -hmm. and it goes to the post, that is not a score. So it has to... It has to be passed on if you're passing from the second part. Mm. Ah, so it's different from soccer. Hey, totally different. Yes. And I think I would need something like maybe a, a month or two for me to understand that one. Even even if I'm watching, it would take me time. Hockey is a very easy game. Mm -hmm. So, 
also in hockey, you play in like a triangle form. Okay. And you need to keep your triangle whenever you're playing. Uh -huh. If the top part of the triangle is going up, you're also supposed to be going up. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay so you have to maintain that triangle in a line or whatever format. Yes. Oh, okay. So who is your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher would be the science teacher, Sechirara. Sechirara. Yes. And you've said you love science. So, I mean, you are into science at your very, I mean, at a, at a very tender age. How did it all start, uh, Joylin? It started when I was in grade one and mm -hmm. my brother started teaching me science. Mm -hmm. So then I realized that I was very into the subject mm -hmm. and I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. So I decided to make that passion grow when I when I got older, and mm -hmm. that's how I got here. Mm. And uh, you know what? Some of our viewers are you know out there are really curious uh, to know what is science. Well, science is the study of living and non-living things. Mm. Yes, that's a definition. So there's a someone there's. There's someone who's, who might be in Form 1 or Form 2, uh, yet they don't even know the definition of science. And you just nailed it. The living and non-living. Yes. Wow. Okay. Samuel Centenary Primary. Doing the most. <laughs> so what is a science a basker? A science basker is a person which goes to showcase a science project. Mm -hmm. a science project at a contest and whoever wins gets prize money mm, okay yes. okay no you, you you know your stuff man you know your stuff so can you explain how science works well these are the steps of the science method mm -hmm. we first have the question then the prediction mm -hmm. and then we have the experiment mm -hmm. Then we have the observation and mm -hmm. results. Yeah. And then we have the conclusion. Mm -hmm. The conclusion is the answer the, to the question we had in the first place. Mm -hmm. So those are the steps. Yes. Wow. Of the scientific mm. method. Wow. And you, you said you're in grade what? Grade three. Guys, you know the stuff that you're learning in grade three right now at Samuel Centenary? This is the stuff. Um, I, I think I started doing this or, you know, uh, learning about this in Form 1, not even Grade 3. Isn't it too much for you? It's not. Really? Yes, it's very easy for me. Uh-huh. So during our time, guys, we were learning about RME, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Content. <laughs> Content, you were learning about uh, uh, Shona, uh, English, uh, Mets, the Content. We just uh, now you're learning science, and this and that. Wow, okay, that's amazing. So, you know, tell me something. Um, what scientific uh, mysteries intrigue you the most? Mm, that would be why is the sea salty, and also how did the planet Earth come to be? Uh huh. Okay, yes. okay, tell me, tell me about this one. Why? Tell me why. Are you asking me to tell you why I think? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I think the sea is salty because in a river there's a lot of salt. Uh -huh. So I think it flows into the sea. Mm hmm and then the sea becomes salty. Salty. Okay, okay. I think I'll give you five marks. Well done. <laughs> okay, so uh, can you describe an interesting you know, observation you've made recently in any of uh, your experiments? Mm. Mm. Well, I've noticed that the moon changes its appearance during a month. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Like, if you look at the moon, for three days, mm -hmm. you can see it's completely black. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, before I tell you about this, this is called the lunar cycle. Mm -hmm. The lunar cycle is when the moon is orbiting around the Earth. Mm -hmm. So, 
in the lunar cycle, we have eight stages. And eight stages? Eight. Wow. Okay, take me through. And throughout all those eight stages, it takes a month to complete. Mm -hmm. So first, we have the new moon. Mm -hmm. The new moon does not have any light on its surface. Mm -hmm. So you'll see the new moon for at least mm -hmm. three days. Three days. Yes. Without light on its surface? Yes. Okay. After so it's dark? Yes. Okay. And then after those three days you'll start to see the waxing crescent. Mm -hmm. The waxing crescent has a little bit more light than the mm -hmm. new moon. Okay. After another three days, you'll start to see the first quarter. Mm -hmm. The first quarter has even more light. Mm -hmm. After that, you'll see the waxing gibbous. Mm -hmm. Since we're now talking about the word gibbous, yeah. do you know where it originally came from? Mm -hmm. It came from the hump of a camel. Oh, hump of a camel? Yes. Okay, okay. Interesting. So, you then start to see the waxing gibbous. Mm -hmm. And then, after another three days, mm -hmm. you'll see the full moon. Mm -hmm. The full moon has... <sighs> The full moon does not have any darkness on its surface. Mm -hmm. After that, you'll start to see the warning, the waning gibbous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The waning gibbous has has a lot of light, mm -hmm. but then a little small part is dark. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you can see the last quarter, also known as the third quarter. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit less light than the waning gibbous. Mm -hmm. And then we go to the last stage. Yes. The waning crescent. Mm -hmm. The waning crescent has more darkness and a little bit of light. Light. Mm -hmm. So those are the eight stages in the so lunar why, cycle. Why more darkness than the light in, the, in this last stage you've mentioned? That would be because the the sun is producing sunlight, mm -hmm. but the light it's not covering every part of the moon. It's because of where the moon is at oh, the moment. Okay, okay. No, ah, yeah, she's a scientist, guys. She's a scientist at Samuel Centenary Primary here in Belvedere, Moharari. Ah, this is something else. I'm sure your teacher. I'm, I'm sure your teacher. Sometimes when you are learning, are you getting this from your teacher or you do your own research? I'm getting this from my science teacher. Your science teacher. Yes. Kudos to you, sir. <laughs> you said, say, say, or oh, madam. Say, Shira. Say, yes. Kudos to you. <laughs> well done. I'm sure he's very proud of you right now because of you on this show and you're explaining all these scientific things to us. I don't know much stuff about, about the moon and, you know, you're telling me now. So how would you solve real world problems using science? I would use filtration. Mm -hmm. Because filtration, it can help the world pretty much. It can also help animals. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was saying, when we're done filtering the water, it's clear, mm -hmm. but it's not clean. Oh, yes. It's not clean. Yes. Yeah, but clear, but not clear. clean. Yes. That's why they say it's filtered. Yes. It has a filter on it. Mm -hmm. It went from dirty and water, which has germs mm -hmm. but now though the filter paper has filtered the water oh yes it's yes. now a filter mm -hmm. it's it's now clear water mm -hmm. but it still has germs yes it's not clean yes okay it's okay. clear mm -hmm. no I, I i understand and there's some exciting you know i understand i received some exciting news that uh, you know you'll be participating in the 2024 science buskers how do you feel about you know uh, uh about it because it's such a big event mm, i'm very excited to be going mm -hmm. i'm very happy that i can see what other people prepare 
for such a big event. Mm -hmm. So what will we be, I mean, uh, expecting and also uh, what are you going to showcase? Well, I'm expecting a lot of fun and also I'm expecting to learn from other people's projects. Mm -hmm. One would ask, what will be taking place there? People will be, basically, people will be coming with different science projects. For example, they can make their own volcano or something mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. and then they can come with it and then the judge can come. The person tells the judge about the experiment. Okay. And then. All right, That's no, I understand. So, you know, how are you preparing for this big event? Any help from the family? Well, I've already started on my project. Mm -hmm. So, and yes, my parents are very supportive. Wow. Thank you, Mama and Daddy, okay, for supporting Joy Lynn. And so, you know, tell me about your, your current project that you're working uh, on at school. I wa I was studying exothermic reactions. Exothermic. Yes. Okay. And I realized that if you mix glycerin and sodium, mm -hmm. you can uh, it will produce a large amount of heat. Okay. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's that, that's powerful. So you know, I understand when I was doing science in high school, you, used, you have um, you know our periodic table. Do you guys have that? Uh, are you now using periodic table? Not yet, but I know some of the elements. In the Tell me the elements. Oh, um, ah. mm. wow! I'm even surprised. Yes, hydrogen. Uh huh. I'm telling you the ones I know. Okay. Yes. Okay. Of course. Of course. So there's hydrogen and helium. Mm -hmm. You also have sodium uh -huh. and potassium. Uh -huh. And also, don't we have titanium? Yes. Is Aluminium. <laughs> there are many on the periodic table. Mm -hmm. I like that. But do you, do you know the symbols? Like the, the symbols, you know, on the periodic table? Not really. So like sometimes uh, they, they do... H what uh, sodium SD something uh, those the symbols yeah. okay so I, I'm but you're still far from it but uh, I'm sure very soon you'll be learning about these goes you know you're a scientist <laughs> you're a scientist so so far is there any difficult experiment you've done and how was the outcome it was the exothermic uh -huh. well exothermic it was a pretty extreme experiment yes because of the amount of heat mm -hmm. it was producing producing yeah yeah yes. if you also want to do the exothermic experiment you can also use glycerin mm -hmm. and potassium mm -hmm. and then it will again produce a large amount of heat mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I mean, let's say if you had, a, I mean, to do it again, all over again, um, is there anything you would do differently? If I use potassium, the next time I would maybe use sodium. Okay. Why sodium? Because the first time I, re I already did potassium mm -hmm. and I would not want to repeat it because I would already know the outcome. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to try something new and use sodium. Mm -hmm. So you know what, during these uh, experiments, sometimes you would try uh, uh, this experiment and give you different results or surprising re uh, surprise as in, uh, results, whatever. Have you ever done an experiment, you know, uh, that had surprising conclusion? You know, what did you learn from it? Mm. Well, I connected two light bulbs in two different ways okay and the brightness i saw that the amount of light it was different it was different yes uh-huh so what did you learn from this experiment 
many things can be different if you do them in many other different ways. Okay. I like that. I like that. I like I like that statement. <laughs> can you repeat the statement? Many things come out different if you do them in if you do them in many other different ways. Different ways. Okay. No, that's fine. So what resources do you use in preparing uh, your presentations? Mm. Well, I would use a a laptop. Mm -hmm. I would also read books from the people which already did the experiment. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I would also use Manila. Manila. Yes. Okay. So, you know, what background research do you do for your projects? You know, sometimes you need to do your, your background check, your research and everything. For my project, I'd be planning to research. Mm -hmm. How does the human body work? Wow, that's big. Mm -hmm. Because I know there's a circulatory uh -huh. system, but I don't know how it works yet. Mm -hmm. And I also know there is a digestive system, uh -huh. but I also need to know how that works. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So that's what I'm planning to research. Wow, that's biology for you now. We are now doing bio in primary. <laughs> so once again, big credit to you, Samuel, uh, Samuel Centenary a Primary in Belvedere. You are doing so, so well. And I can see. And I'm sure that I'm going to be able to do it. And I'm going to be able to Samuel Centenary. Well, don't even, you know, hesitate. You know, we don't try. 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 We do so what application do you um do your projects have in everyday life, Jaylene? Well, if I'm doing filtration, I can filter water every day so that I can drink it if I get thirsty. Mm. Okay. So as a scientist or uh, genius, how do you stay curious and motivated? It's very easy for me because I'm just naturally good at science. And also, sometimes when I'm at home, I decide to watch things about science. Mm -hmm. So, which one is your favorite uh, channel? Dr. Binox. Okay. You'll be watching at home? Yes. Wow. So, some are busy watching cartoons and you're busy watching Dr. Binox. Yes. So, you, you, you don't watch cartoons? I do. Uh-huh. But not a lot. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't really like cartoons. Why? Um, it's because they... I don't really know why I don't like cartoons. <laughs> okay. It's not in my interest of watching them. Okay. I, I, I get you. I get you. And uh, do you have any favorite scientist or inventor? Mm, that would be Albert Einstein. Mm -hmm. Why? Why Albert? It's because uh -huh. I know him for being a very smart man. Mm -hmm. So the smartest man. Yeah. <laughs> so I really want to be like him when I grow up. Uh huh. Uh huh. So that's why I like Albert Einstein the most. So do you have any favorite science? Uh, I mean, science books or documentaries. Uh, that would be life on our planet. Uh -huh. It's very interesting for me because I can see a lot of things mm -hmm. about the planet in terms of you know how the pla how the wild animals are living, mm -hmm. if everything is okay or if most of the animals are now in danger. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right. So now let's flex your science muscles a bit. Are you ready? Yes. For real? Yes. I'm now going to ask you some questions. All right. Why is the sky blue? Well, the sky is blue because when the sun produces light, that light is made from seven different colors. Mm -hmm. And and when that light is growing through space, this 
the color starts to separate, mm-hmm. but there's only one color which stays. Uh-huh. It's the blue color. Okay. And then in it, and then it reflects down onto Earth, uh-huh. and that's why the sky is blue. Okay. Okay. Did you know that, guys? Did you know that? <laughs> I, I, I know even our parents, even, you know, uh, those who are watching at home are learning this for the first time. Okay. Okay. Question number two. How do plants make food? Well, the stem takes in the water and then the leaves, they mix carbon dioxide uh-huh. with water to, to make food. And that process is called Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Well done. Well done. Well done. Photosynthesis. I'm not Zama from two rim. From one. Okay. Uh, but she's in grade three, by the way. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. She's in grade three, but she's a scientist. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, what are clouds made of? Well, clouds are made of little small droplets of water. Okay. Little small droplets of water. Are you for real? Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Why do you say so? Because would you enjoy falling through water? (laughs) (laughs) Ah, Giga. I we have told him one of you, you have told him one of you, you are okay now. (laughs) Jenny, you are amazing. Trust me, you're doing an amazing job. Okay, Thank so let me you. let me let me ask you this one: Why do stars shine? Well, stars are made of hot, explosive gas, mm-hmm. so that's why they shine. And also, that hot, explosive gas is known as hydrogen and helium. Uh huh. So, do you, do you know a rainbow? Yes. Okay. So, how are rainbows you know, made? Well, you know when it starts raining and then the sunlight comes. Yes. So, do you remember when I said sunlight yes. is made of seven, seven colors. different colors? Yes. How many colors are in the rainbow? Seven. Yes. Mm-hmm. Those are the s- exact same. Seven different colors mm-hmm. used to... And you know that sun, the sunlight is white. Mm-hmm. So, if you mix all those seven colors together... You get the color white. Okay. So okay. when it starts, it starts raining, mm-hmm. and then the light comes. Mm-hmm. When the sunlight meets the water, mm-hmm. the color starts to spread, and then it makes a rainbow. Oh, guys, many times we process kiguti rainbow. You know, God's riga say, Shifaba say. Hey, genius kids in the genius kids kunyanya. And also my schools, genius kids kunyanya. So that they learn one or two things from other, you know, kids as well, and they get motivated, inspired. So there you have it. I think Mangozi Mangozi is good. But do you have any favorite planets? If yes, maybe you can tell us why. My favorite planet would be Saturn mm-hmm. because the rings are very pretty. Okay. Yeah. The the rings. Yes, and it's also made of my two favorite gases, uh-huh. hydrogen and helium. Hydrogen and helium. Hey guys, it have nyora pasi kapsa chazoku kutsira. It have ji nyora pasi hydrogen and helium. Say. <laughs> Helium. <laughs> I like how he said it. <laughs> so let's talk about animals. Do you like, you know, animals? Do you have like your favorite animal? My favorite animal would be a tiger because it is very fierce, just like me. Yeah, okay. Very fierce. Yes. <laughs> just like me. So from today, I'll call you a tiger. <laughs> would you love that? I'd like to be addressed for my name. Okay, Jaylene. Yes. Oh, Jaylene, it's okay. What about Jaylene Tiger? Sounds cool. Fine. That's <laughs> fine. It's okay, Jaylene Tiger. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just joking. So, Jaylene, what message do you have for kids who aspire to be like you? If you're good at something, 
you should pursue your dreams because one day you can end up big mm-hmm. and never give up. Mm-hmm. And what are your aspirations as a young girl who is into science? I'd like to be a scientist. You're a scientist? Yes. Mm. That's your path? Yes. Wow. Science geniuses love to experiment. Do you also experiment when you are at home? Um, I mean, if I have the time to, I do. Uh-huh. Well, I have the materials. Mm-hmm. So I get time to experiment. I yes. can do filtration when, mm-hmm. I'm, when I'm at home. Okay. So any invention you'd want one day want to do? I'd like to make a time machine so that if someone messed up something in the past, uh-huh. they could go back and fix their problem. <laughs> it's all about fixing problems. Thank you so much, Jaden, for coming through to the Genius Kids show. And maybe your goodbyes to your friends. What do you want to say to them? Before we end this, yeah. I'm not only good at science. Okay. I'm also good at English. English. Yes. Do you know the longest word in the English dictionary? The longest word? No, tell me. It's pneumono ultramarostopic silcovolcano coniosis. No, that's not English. That's Chinese. It's English. It's Chinese. It's English. Coniosis. Ah, what's that? Well, it's a lung disease caused by silica dust. Would you like me to repeat what I just okay, said? Okay, just repeat, please. Was it sounds sound more like Chinese, or maybe you see it's not it's not it's not, it's not, uh, it's not mand- Mandarin. Yes, yeah, the Chinese language called Mandarin. I said pneumono ultra microscopic. Okay, take it slow, ma'am. Pneumono ultra ultra. Micro, micro, scopic, scopic, silico, <coughs> silico, volcano, volcano, comniosis. Comnio- now that's you see, comniosis. It's not English. You see now. I said coniosis. Coniosis. Yes. Still, it's not English. Ah no, coniosis. Ah no, I refuse. Ah, gang, I. Re- <laughs> the only English word there is microscopic. I have the mic. Okay, maybe, maybe repeat it again. Pneumono, uh-huh. ultra, uh-huh. micro, yes. scopic, uh-huh. silico, yeah. volcano, uh-huh. coniosis. So say it as one word, complete, complete one word. Pneumono, ultra, microscopic, silico, volcano, coniosis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well done, Joylene. I didn't know about this word. What does it mean? It's a lung disease caused by silica dust. Oh, it's a lung disease? Yes. Hey, hey. Wait, wait, guys. We are learning. We are learning. This new word, ma'am, that's the longest word in the dictionary. Thank you so much, Jolene. It's so, actually the longest word in the English language. In the English language? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Saganda Ziza. So, who do you want to say hi to uh, before you go? I'd like to say hi to my brother and also mm-hmm. my parents. Yes. Okay. What are the names? Maybe we can greet them with you, uh, with the names. Hi. <laughs> what, what, what's the name of your friend? Hi, Mufaro. <laughs> hi, Mufaro. Okay. Thank you so much, Jenny, for coming through. Until next time, I'll see you. I'll, 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 next time, I'll visit you at uh, uh, Kuchikor. Right? Yes. Yeah, great. So from today, you tell your friends that Ola oh, Seven is my friend. You tell them that, right? You say Ola oh, yes. is my friend. You know, you're not my friend, Jadine. Don't 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 Dafana. Is it Dafana or Dafana? 
Dafana. Dafana, yes. Aranga ji participators wakari kuma 2024 sides, baskas. Um, it was such, you know, an honor, interesting conversation. And I ni wepana pa chimbo ku host pa naba. We had the Nigerian. So until next time, guys. My name is DJ Ola Seven Owen. We kwama donda the chief air marshal. Signing out. Bye bye. dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino induced drought together. EcoCash, live life the EcoCash way. It's the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy.